Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury cruise experts, and today I'm on board the beautiful Celebrity Edge. Now this particular ship was a complete revolution for Celebrity. From the design of the ship itself, the architecture, the engineering, to the beautiful contemporary design and partnerships that they've had, unlike any other in their fleet and in the entire industry. This is the first cruise ship ever designed completely using 3D and virtual reality, and what that allowed them to do was change the way cruise ships are designed. As you can see from this space, from the pool deck, what you're gonna see out is completely unobstructed views, and even more so looking back on the other side. They've been able to do this by using modeling technology that essentially moved the supports, changed where they are, and it allowed them to kind of create a completely new concept. Now this particular ship has 29 different dining and beverage options for you to choose from, some of the most beautiful views and experiences on the entire ocean. Let me show you what it's all about. Now I wanted to take you up to deck 16 so you can get an overview of this incredible space. It is the most wide open and uniquely designed pool deck in the entire industry. So what you can see down below is a huge pool. It's actually big enough for laps. It's quite an expansive space and you've got this nice shallow entrance all the way around so you can sit in a lounger in the water itself, put your feet in, but this also changes throughout the day and into the evening. So they're gonna set up a bandstand here later at night. They've got all the lights, all of that top level technology that they integrated with this entire smart ship. But there's a few other features that I really wanted to point out. Right behind me is the top of the magic carpet. Now this isn't just a first in the industry, it's something that completely changed the way your cruise experience happens. Now later in the evening, it's gonna be up on the pool deck area where it is right now just down below me, and it's really a bar setting. Later on into the evening, they'll take it down to deck five where you can have a dining experience. It's the dining on the edge experience. It sets up just outside raw on five. So you can have the bar and dinner out there as well. But for me, what really changed the way that anything happens is taking it all the way down to the water level. Down there, you have the best experience of tendering in the entire industry. So one of the problems with larger ships in general is when you get to a port that can't quite sustain a ship or maybe it just doesn't even have a full pier is usually you have to tender and they get those lifeboats down, they're cramped, you're kind of going up and down stairs trying to get on and off of the boats. But what they've done is they've changed that experience. So not only did they air condition the lifeboats, make them extra comfortable for you, but the magic carpet goes all the way down to deck two. You have a large indoor air conditioned space where you can ready get ready for that tender experience. And now they've opened up ports around the world that never could have been utilized by a ship like this. It's such an innovative design. It's also, of course, aesthetically beautiful like everything else on the ship. Now there's a couple first of a kind experiences that I also wanted to point out from this angle. So behind me, you see two hot tubs. So there's not one down on the pool deck itself, but what you get is an incredible people watching experience and social experience. So one right to my left and on the far side, you can see that it's designed like a beautiful glass of champagne, which you're always greeted with when you board a celebrity cruise. But what's great about that is this talks to the architectural and engineering developments that's actually one of the main supports for the ship. And so you get that two for one experience where they're opening up this incredible space. So you get a ton of sun coming down. Of course, you have the cabanas on the far side, but from here you can see how you have an entire wall of windows. And the, the walking track, which is a staple on every single cruise ship, is unique here as well. 4.5 laps, so it's almost the size of an Olympic track. You can walk around, in fact, there's quite a few people walking and jogging because we're out here early in the morning now. But what it does is it wraps around two decks and forms a figure eight. So you can see on the far side there, that's actually a ramp up, which enhances the exercise experience. But what you also get is views in every single direction. As it ramps up there, you're gonna get those views from one side of the pool deck all the way out to the other. And when I stepped foot on here for the first time, I knew that it was something different and incredible. We were in the pool, looking out at the beautiful destinations that we were visiting. Now from this angle, you can see the track right here. I love that it's a split track. So one side is for walking, one side is for jogging, depending on the exercise experience you're looking for. I usually come up here after a nice dinner and have a nice stroll myself. 
Now I wanted to point out something else all the way up here on deck 16, and that is the entrance to the magic carpet. So it also comes all the way up to the very top of the ship right here. These are gonna open up for you. The magic carpet is just a deck below us right now, but this is gonna open up so you can head on out and enjoy that incredible experience. And as we continue a little bit further along here, you can see that even in this space, everything is meant to open up so you can take advantage of what a cruise ship is all about looking out rather than looking in. So many cruise ships are designed from outside in. You can really see from here, this ship is designed from the inside, looking out to take advantage of those incredible ocean views. Now I'm heading just from the deck 16 elevator bank out to the retreat sun deck. Private space is what the suite experience is all about here on the Celebrity Edge. Now what I've done is I've gone aft immediately. So we'll get you to the rest of the Sweet Sun Deck. It's quite a huge space. But before we did, I wanted to point out a few things. So all along the space, you have different kinds of seating. So right here, you see you've got these nice day beds, a couple extra comfortable pillows. They always have the towels out. And keep in mind, you're gonna have retreat hosts going all the way around this area throughout your time here. But there's something unique and special on the edge apex and will be on the celebrity beyond these are the edge villas they're two stories of course you can check that out on our channel we've got those filmed along with all the other suites and rooms on board the ship but a very unique feature is that you can head from your suite right on to the private suite sun deck from the second story now let's check out the aft part of the sun deck space so as we get out here you can see what it's all about we're just behind the dome of the solarium. You've got quite a few different seating options. If you want the shade, you've got these covered day beds over here. You've got a couple small cabanas as well. Once again, up here, nothing is a charge. This is all included with your experience. And then as we head out further, if you want a little bit more of that sun, you can see they have these beautiful loungers set all the way up around the views out to the ocean. When you're sailing away, this is a phenomenal place to be or if you're enjoying a sea day or a port day, this is a fantastic place to get some sun, some relaxation, and some quiet time. Now, just for point of reference, as we come around to the other side, this would head out. So the door here heads out to one of those famous champagne martini glass hot tubs. You can kind of see that in the distance over there. And then the pool deck is behind me. I just wanted to give you a point of reference. Now, as we head over to the starboard side, I just wanted to show you a couple more of the seating options. So you have these great couches, they're sectional couches, a perfect gathering space for friends that you're traveling with or new friends that you meet on board. I really, really love the rocking chairs. They have them throughout. It's a really nice, comfortable feature. Once again, you see the beautiful modern decor. On the other side here, there's gonna be three more of the Edge Villas. Once again, this is the second story of the Edge Villa. Down below, one more story is where you're gonna find your plunge pool and the beautiful deck. Now, as we check out the rest of the space, it looks very much like the other side. You can see the dome of the solarium behind us, another small cabana. You've got the loungers all the way around, including these large double day beds. Drink service, food service is all going to be included up here on the retreat sun deck. I wanted to point out one other feature before we headed to the front of the ship. Right down this stairway here, is where you'll head down to the suite lounge. So you can access the sun deck from the suite lounge. You just go to the starboard side, the outdoor space and head right on up. Or of course you can come from the elevator bank like we did. As we head forward on the starboard side, you can see they have a nice family dining style table right here. You can take advantage of the restaurant that we'll get to in just a minute. You've got quite a bit more seating tucked around in the corner and you can see those those rockers that are right in the front, like I pointed out earlier. I love those. To me, that's one of my favorite spaces on this entire ship. Sitting in a rocking chair, it's kind of reminiscent of your own front porch at home. You've got the table there so you can have a cocktail, a little snack, but really just enjoying the time that you have up here in the private space. Now, as we continue to the front, you can see this is the very front of the ship. You've got the windbreak, but what I really like is they've got those little slats kind of in between so you can get a nice breeze coming off the ocean. And up here, you're gonna have more of the, the rockers as you continue along. You're also gonna have the loungers. They've got them set up in pairs of two, perfect for a couple, or you, know, you can grab your own as well. Now, one of the main features of this particular space is the pool and hot tub. Some more unique architecture, if you will, design. You've got the beautiful hanging lounge chairs over there in the corner, kind of reminiscent of a bird's nest. It's a nice size pool for this particular space. And I love that they have a full pool up here as well, in addition to the hot tub. And then as you continue along, it's gonna wrap around to the side. More of the rockers, cabanas, and loungers. But a unique part of this particular space 
is the restaurant. So this is gonna be open usually from late morning until early in the evening. You're gonna see you have all the tables and chairs right here, more of that beautiful furniture, and you're gonna have a full bar. So they're gonna give you bar service throughout the entire space. The retreat rate includes the premium beverage package, so you get to take advantage of that. And I'll follow you, if you follow me in here right there, you can see what I'm talking about. They haven't quite opened it up. We usually film early in the morning so that we don't disturb anybody. But you can see they've got beers on tap, they've got the blenders ready to make up your favorite pina coladas, margaritas, or my daughter's new all-time favorite, a virgin Miami Vice that's absolutely delicious. But what I love about that is if you wanna stay in the private space the whole day, for the retreat, you can do that. You've got the lounge, you've got the sun deck, you've got a place to dine, of course, Luminae for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or you can head out and enjoy the entire ship. Now, as we get ready to head into a truly unique space, the beautiful rooftop garden, I wanted to point out this beautiful sculpture right here. All throughout this entire cruise ship, you're gonna find one of the most extensive and beautiful art collections in the entire world. What I love is they've integrated it all together. You see the beautiful butterfly sculptures all the way up and around. And then as we head on up into the space, these are all live plants. So Royal Caribbean really kicked off this concept with the incredible Central Park. And they've taken this once again to a more beautiful and unique experience. So once again, all live plants behind me, the beautiful metal sculptures, and then let's head right on up into the space. Now, Celebrity Cruises was the very first in the industry to put grass on board a cruise ship. And what they've done, as you would expect, they've revolutionized the experience once again with this incredible rooftop garden. So now we're in the middle of the garden itself. You can see that you feel like you're in nature when you're sitting in the different seating areas. So on the far side, you've got couches, single seats, and bench seating, and it wraps all the way around. You'll see the beautiful butterfly sculptures once again. You've got the lights. This is a highly integrated technical experience as well. So you can utilize this for a private party. That's something that we do put together. But you can also come up here to watch a movie. They've got a full stage out in front of me. You see the big, beautiful, high-definition screen that they have, top-of-the-line speakers, and once again, lights there as well. So you can have a party. They're gonna have different experiences integrated. And something else that is a first of its kind is they've also added the rooftop garden grill. It's kind of taking what they did on the Solstice class and making it even better. As we head over in that direction, I wanted to point out you have more seating. This is a little further back, tucked in. Maybe you want a little bit more intimate area. But what I love is I'm not sure you can see it, but there's little lights down below. So even that detail has been perfected. So bench seating and lounges all the way around, more seating wrapped around, and even a living wall behind us. Now, just behind me, you're gonna find the rooftop garden grill. This is a barbecue experience, but as you would expect from Celebrity, it's taken to another level. It's very international and absolutely delicious. This is the first of those specialty dining experiences that they have here on board. There is a ton of complimentary and included food, but if you want to maybe do something new and different, dine under the stars, this is a perfect place to take advantage of that. Now, before we head on in, you can see you have wraparound space here. Once again, seating that's not just functional, but also beautiful. Now, early on, I mentioned the running track because it's so unique. And one thing that I love here is that it actually goes through this beautiful garden area. So there's a curve right here. You see you have plants on the far wall, plants all the way around. So you might get a little bit of running through the beach and running through the jungle as well just after the rooftop garden and grill, you're gonna find one of my all-time favorite spaces on Celebrity, the Sunset Bar. Now, before we head on in there, I just wanted to point out, this is a smoking area out here. It's separated. I really love that they have those in an open air area right here. And then they've got the divider. And then we head on in to the beautiful bar itself. Now, like all the spaces on board, it's multifunctional. You're gonna have these seating areas that are set up throughout the entire back of the ship, looking out to take advantage of those incredible views out towards the wake of the ship. Over here, you've got a high top bar. Once again, you can sit with a group of friends. You can sit with a group of friends here as well. And then as we continue on around, you'll find the heart and soul of it all. It's the bar itself. You've got beautiful artwork and design all the way around. They do have a nice, large, two-story high roof up above. So if you get a little bit of drizzle like we did the other day, didn't hamper the experience whatsoever. Now we're here early in the morning. They're just setting up the bar. But I wanted to point out one of my favorite seating areas on the entire ship. It's these thrones looking out at the back of the ship. So you have these nice, tall, high chairs, big 
big enough for somebody like me. You've got the tables down below so you can sit. And it's almost like a divider as well. So you get that secluded experience looking out at these incredible views. Now, as we continue on around the space, it wraps around continuously over here. They do have restrooms up here, which is a really nice touch. You notice that it is accessible as well. And then if we were gonna continue along, we'd get back to the rooftop garden and you can see a little bit of that walking or running track as well. The Celebrity Cruise experience is intentionally meant to be transformational. It is a vacation of a lifetime. And the idea of a vacation is vacating what you do at home, the life that you have, and embracing whatever it is that you love to do. And I love that they have this butterfly sculpture up here because that really signifies that to me, but it also embraces the incredible design work of this ship. I think my daughters come up here every single day to take a picture. And to me, it's even more beautiful in the evening when the LED panel wall behind becomes interactive. So you can't really see the colors right now during the day, but later at night, it's gonna kind of jam with whatever it is that you're doing out here. We had a phenomenal sail away party out here. The energy was incredible. As it continued on throughout the night, they had a bandstand that was set up as well. But by having a vast open deck like this, they can utilize it for every single part of the day for all kinds of different experiences. Now that we're down on the pool itself, you can once again see how they have those shallow entrance areas all the way around. Those loungers come into the pool so you can sit, sip on a drink and enjoy it. It's got a large pool area where you can do any kind of swimming activity. In the morning here, you can see it's wide open if you wanna come down and swim laps. Now, something that Celebrity's done an incredible job with with each and every one of their ships, and it's gotten better each and every time, is the accessible experience. So right here, you can see that they have a lift if you need to utilize that. Of course, they have the accessible rooms throughout the ship as well. But what I've seen is quite a few more elevators and specially designed elevators to take advantage of all the incredible experiences. Now, on the far side of the pool, you're gonna find the pool bar, which is always the heart and soul of the pool deck. The bartenders have been amazing throughout, interactive, fun, smiling, laughing, but of course, very importantly, keeping the drinks flowing. You've got the bar set up and it wraps all the way around the pool here. Once again, you can utilize it through the day and into the evening. They have another great lounge area right here as well. You can see the love seats that go all the way back. Once again, that perfect social experience for people you're traveling with or new friends that you meet along the way. Now above and on the sides of the LED screen here, you're gonna have a couple extra seating areas. So on this side, which is the starboard side of the ship, there is a smoking area. I love that it's up and away from the pool deck. You don't find that on every cruise ship. On the other side, it's really just a lounge space. They have a TV up there, which is usually showing sports as well. Now we're just below the pool deck, which is where you're gonna have the entrance from the main elevator. Also one of the places where you can head right onto the magic carpet. But I wanted to point out, this is one of those lifts that I was talking about. So they've added these in throughout the different parts of the ship to make this one of the most accessible experiences in the entire world. Now set just below the pool deck and to the starboard side, you're gonna find the mast grill. This is that classic pool grill experience. If you wanna head on down, they've got all the seating here, but you got hot dogs, hamburgers, and of course, in celebrity fashion, they've also added in some healthy choices as well. But I like that this can complement that pool experience. So if you're somebody who loves to head to the pool all day, you have every single thing that you need right here. Now with the design of this ship, Celebrity has really embraced several different kind of new type experiences for the industry. You kind of get that almost Vegas pool party style cabana experience here. There's a couple different options if you wanna have a private space for you and your friends and family. So right here, you can see one of the larger cabanas. It opens up, once again, this is an additional charge. You see that they've got the ice and cups set up for you right there. You're gonna have attendants that will take care of you throughout your entire day here. You get food, drink, and all of those kind of things that you would expect. You can see you have a nice, large couch. And it, for point of reference, you've got that LED screen up above and the pool deck right around. So you can kind of take advantage of both. Now, maybe you want a slightly smaller cabana. They have that as well, too, depending on the group that you're traveling with. This particular one is split up into two different options. Four uh, right over here. You can see that it separates out. So you've got the nice, large L-shaped couch. And then as we continue along on the other side, you get a little more of that as well. Now keep in mind that options do change from time to time, but part of this cabana experience, you're gonna get four large bottles of Evian, some chilled beers, unlimited soft drinks, fresh fruit, 
Cabana food menu. It's a little bit expanded and absolutely delicious. You get that Evian facial spray. I absolutely love that. So you get the nice cool mist, ice cold towels, and then you choose a bottle of Grey Goose, uh, Veuve Coco, or you can also choose from some Chardonnay and other wine options. But once again, what this is about is having that unique experience that's elevated even beyond what celebrity includes. Now, as I walk out onto this space, I get the chills just a little bit because I know that I'm part of history. This is something truly unique. And what I love is like everything else on this ship, it's transformational. So right now we're up on the pool deck where it usually sits throughout the day so that it can be utilized as an extension of the pool deck and a bar experience. You can see all the different types of lounge seating that you have out here now. You have the large L-shaped couch over there, the individual seats, the seats tucked away for two. Once again, you can take advantage of the incredible views from this beautiful outward looking sofa. It's extra large. And what's so unique is you're sticking off the side of the ship in a fully cantilevered experience. There's never been an experience like this on any cruise ship in the world. Now behind me, you can see the heart and soul of the Magic Carpet. That's the fantastic bar. Once again, the best bartenders in the experience. They have a wide array of choices. They were doing some flair and having some fun on here last night. Now I mentioned that this experience does transform throughout the day. When it's down on five, they have these beautiful white orbs that kind of line the area as you head on out into the evening. And this entire space lights up. So if you wanna take advantage of the evening bar experience or dinner on the edge, you can do that here as well. So it's more than just uh, the best way in the business to take advantage of the tendering experience. It's a bar, it's a restaurant. But what it really is, is just a unique architectural space that takes advantage of something that's never happened before. So once again, you have the high top bar seating over here as well. You have another entrance over to my right and another large sofa in the corner. However you wanna utilize this space, it's truly magical, it's unique, and it's fantastic. Seriously, it's my break. Ugh, fine. Another space that you can tell that was designed completely different than ever before on a cruise ship is the beautiful solarium area. Now this is an adults only experience, it's indoors. So wherever this beautiful ship is sailing, Northern Europe, the Med, anywhere in North America or throughout the world, you can take advantage of this beautiful space. There's loungers set all the way up and around and you can see the way that they've elegantly designed the supports. It also opens up two levels high to get the incredible views out to the beautiful ocean. Now set right in the middle is the solarium pool. Once again, like outside, all around the side, you're gonna have shallow edge. So you can take those loungers, put them into the pool, have your toes in the water while you're enjoying the day. You can utilize the pool as well. There's a bench seat that wraps all the way around inside. There's a large hot tub as well. It's kind of double the size you would find elsewhere. There's also an accessible lift that goes into that hot tub if you wanna take advantage of that. Now on one side, you're gonna find all the loungers looking out to the ocean and another set of loungers, just like this side, looking into the pool area. But a unique part of this particular space is one of those celebrity signatures, which is the spa cafe. So the loungers kind of end right about here. And then you're gonna have a small cafe where you're gonna have spa style foods for breakfast and lunch. You can come up, grab and go. For example, I had a peanut butter and banana bagel this morning that was delicious. But what I really love is the juice bar. If you have that premium beverage package, it is included. It's a very small upgrade from the classic beverage package any days, anyways. Um, but what I like is you can head on over there. This morning I had my orange, carrot, and ginger juice to get me nice and invigorated to do this particular tour. You can have smoothies made as well, but it embraces that celebrity concept of wellness woven in. So if you were in this particular area, you may completely not even know that you're on a traditional cruise ship where you're gonna have all of those spa experiences that continue on into the fitness center and spa as well. So now we're headed into the beautiful spa here on the Celebrity Edge. You see the decor from the ship continues on here, absolutely beautiful. This is a small seating area. You've got the main check-in desk right here. You can answer any questions and they can assist you throughout your time. There's actually a stairway that heads all the way up to the rest of the spa and the fitness center. And then on the opposite side, which is the starboard side of the ship, that's where you're gonna check in for all your treatments. Just down the hall from the entrance, you're gonna find the ladies and the gents locker room. There are lockers in there, of course. You can go there first before you do your spa treatment or the thermal suite. There's also showers and ready areas to get ready, so you can head back through there before you finish your time in the spa.
So now we're headed into the relaxation lounge. You can utilize this before or after your treatment. To me, it's really that spot where you head in, get in the Zen mindset so you can sit and relax, maybe even read a book after your treatment. You see they have the chaise loungers here and the beautiful chairs right in front, looking out to take advantage of those incredible ocean views. Tucked just in the corner, you're gonna have water and an assortment of teas, that perfect place to hydrate before or after your treatment. Now, just at the front of the ship, you're gonna find the most exquisite thermal suite at sea. It does come included for those who are in aqua class, or of course, you can purchase a pass as well. Right as we enter, you're gonna find those infused waters. They'll rotate those throughout your cruise. You've got a beautiful sitting area here as well. And just in front, you're gonna find a large deck. This deck's actually used for sailaways, and of course, it has those iconic penguins that you've seen in the pictures. Now, as we continue along into the space wrapped all the way around the front of the thermal suite, you'll find the relaxation loungers. I love these. It's one of my favorite spots where you'll find me quite often on the cruise. You can sit down here. It's nice and ergonomic, but what it's all about is it's heated from the bottom. So I've had some back issues for quite some time. I love sitting here. It's really nice and soothing and relaxing. And of course, looking out the front of the ship. On the starboard side, you're gonna find the float room. So it's a zen experience you see from the floor here. They've got these floating loungers where you sit, you kind of just drift back and forth with the motion in the ocean, and it really is nice and relaxing. Continuing along in the space, you're gonna have the infrared sauna just here. It's a really large infrared sauna, and I love the idea that in addition to, well, being exactly what it is, you've got incredible views out the front of the ship from here as well. Continuing along, you're gonna find something you don't find on many ships. That is the Energy Healing Crystallarium. So this is gonna be warmer as well. You can sit in here and rejuvenate your energy. Set in the middle of the spa, you're gonna find these crystals right here. Of course, I get a little bit of Superman vibes personally, but it's just a continuation of the incredible aesthetic. And then on the walls, you'll see the continuation of the living ship. You'll find that in Eden and throughout the ship as well. Now over here to my right, you're gonna find the inhale room. This is where you'll have salt therapy. You see the Himalayan salts against the wall, but also they're nice and heated there. Once again, part of that rotation to really enjoy every aspect of the spa. Now we're gonna head right around the corner here and you're gonna find the other sense. So this is kind of the touch and feel with water. So you'll see that every single sense is attended to. And as you walk through here, there's several different experiences. You've got the shower heads up above. You've got hot mist right here. You're gonna have vertical. So these are gonna be big rainforest shower heads coming down above. Cold mist continuing along. And then once again, you get tropical rain. So it's four different experiences, kind of in that Swiss spa theory. Now, right through here is where you're gonna find the locker rooms. I talked about them outside, but this is where you can enter into the men's and the women's locker rooms right here. Now the final two places I wanted to point out is the Aroma Steam Mist Room. So this is gonna be hot and you're gonna have that nice aroma that really opens up your sinuses and your senses here. And then over here, you're gonna find the Hammam Turkish Bath. They have it turned off right now, so we actually can go inside. But once it's turned on, it's gonna have heavy steam throughout. You can see that you can sit around the edges. Those are nice and heated as well. Now we're just inside one of the double treatment rooms here. I love the idea that if you wanna have a couple's massage or any of the treatments for that matter, you can have them together. My wife and I have a small child and uh, she's loving the kids club here on board. We're gonna head up here in just a little bit and have a couple's massage, something we actually haven't had since we had a child. So now we're inside one of the single treatment rooms and this is actually a unique one. This is a zero gravity bed, so the bed will adjust up and down. So when you're doing your treatment, that massage therapist can find those exact spots that are gonna make you feel so much better. I love a sports massage. They have all kinds of different options here. If you want something ultra relaxing, something that's gonna get after those pain points, they have all of those options. Though my all time favorite, is the hot stone massage. You see they have the massage stone heater there. And then they also have this heater as well. So you can have the nice warm towels that they utilize throughout the time. Now keep in mind, any of the treatments that you get at home, you can get here on board the Celebrity Edge, but it's even that much better while you're on vacation. Now, as much as I love this sound, it does mean that your massage is over, but if you're like me, it just means there's a little bit of time before your next one. Now, Celebrity has embraced the Medi Spa treatments. They've done a phenomenal job opening that up to something you can do on board a cruise ship now. 
They've got a wide variety. They do have a doctor on board. They have the thermage treatments that are really well known. They also have the cool sculpting. Now for me, I think that's just a good reason to maybe eat a little bit earlier in the cruise and come and take a few inches off. No, I'm just kidding here. But the idea is that you can have the injectables, you can have all of the different treatments that you could have on land right here on board the edge. One of the classic treatments that has been amplified now is a seaweed wrap treatment. So you see the seaweed kind of mud concept right in here. You lay on there. This is also one of those zero gravity beds so they can adjust it up and down and wrap you completely in it. It's perfect for detoxification, or in my case with my rheumatoid arthritis, it's a fantastic way to eliminate some of those things and make you feel quite a bit better. Now the high technology continues here in the spa. Right here, you're gonna have the skin analysis so they can do all of that for you. And then they can do a full facial rejuvenation treatment. You can get multiple ones while you're here on board. Just as a fantastic combination, mix and match, or just get one treatment. Now a new treatment on board Celebrity is a quartz massage. So you can see in here, you have quartz all around. And what you do is you get in, the table does adjust up and down. They're gonna cocoon you in it completely. Now they've really embraced all of the different elements. This idea is to connect you with the earth. So it's perfect for aches and pains and other types of ailments. I've got plenty myself. So this is a fantastic option if you wanna try something new and really get grounded. Now, Celebrity's made a great effort to provide the spa lifestyle here on board the ship as part of their wellness woven in concept. What I love is if you live that lifestyle at home or if you aspire to it as well, you can get all of the things here on board that you can at home. Now, personally, I use acupuncture and Eastern medicine all the time when I'm at home. This is the office of the acupuncturist. She's phenomenal. She has five plus years of training and she's been doing it for quite some time, even beyond that. But what I really like is that they take the time to get to know you, to figure out exactly what it is that you're looking for. And once again, if you have those treatments at home, you can continue them on right here. You see the acupuncture set up is just over to the corner. You've got all the different meridians and things just behind me as well. But a phenomenal phenomenal opportunity, whether you need a little bit of you know treatment with some aches and pains for me, my herniated disc in my back and my knee and well several other things as well with my rheumatoid arthritis, it made a world of difference, especially when we're traveling the world. I had a trip where we were in Europe for quite a bit of time. It was actually more than a couple months. And uh, it was just so nice to come on board and be able to take advantage of that and then head back out and explore the world. Now we're headed into the Kerastase Hair Institute. So they have a partnership, of course, with a company from Paris. You can see they have all of the different retail here if you want to take advantage of those duty-free prices. They'll do a full consultation with you, hair, makeup, body consultations as well as you would like. Now this is an extension of the spa, so you can utilize all of your favorite things at home. Right here, you've got the manicure stations that line all the way up. I love that you're looking out to the sea. Once again, they've done an incredible job with that. And as you continue along through the space, you also have the pedicure stations as well. And I really appreciate the fact that, well, it's even big enough for my size 15 feet. Now, any of your favorite hair treatments, color therapy, things like that, they can do here on board. So if you just wanna get ready for a fantastic night out, you're getting married on board, or you've been looking forward to that cut for quite some time, they can take care of all those needs here. You can see they have the top of the line technology. And then behind me, you get a little bit more of some of the samplings of the options. Now, if you love the barbershop experience, you're going to really love the way they do it on board the edge here. You see, you've got two barber chairs right there. You can have any of those fantastic high-end treatments that you might expect at home. I love you can get a cut, you can get a shave, you can get a facial, all of those things here, or you can combine them into one. Just another upgraded experience. Now there's a full Medi Spa experience here on board. Right here is the Smile Spa, but they also have a full line of facial rejuvenation, thermage, and the cool sculpting. Once again, you can mix and match. If you're on a longer cruise, you can take advantage of every single option they have. So now we're headed into the fitness center. It's a world-class facility, just like every other part of this ship. I wanted to point out that you can set up classes right here. So they have these iPads, so you can go ahead and reserve your times in the class if you'd like. And all around the entire fitness center, you're gonna find the cardio. So as we walk in, you have a ton of the treadmills and then interspersed throughout, you're gonna find all the different circuit machines. You've got legs right here. You've got a full leg press over on the far side. In the far part, you're gonna have all the different dumbbells. I love that they go up to really high weights, even though I can't lift them. I know a lot of people can. You're gonna have your Smith machine for squats and different exercises. Of course, you can pull the bench underneath there as well. They've got those benches set aside for you. 
And then as we continue along, now we're gonna find the ellipticals and more of those circuit machines. They've partnered with Techno Gym on here so that they have, once again, high quality, state of the art equipment. But what I love about all the cardio, whether you're doing the stair stepper, the elliptical, the sit down bikes, or the higher bikes as well, and then more in the, in the far distance, you're gonna have the rowing machines, is you're looking out the front of the ship. To me, there's just something inspirational about that. Now, what I also love is they've partnered with Peloton. So you have Peloton bikes that are set up right here in the front. Of course, if you're in one of the top suites, you can have one in your room. You can have any of the exercise equipment, well, a lot of the cardio equipment delivered if you wanna utilize it there. But if you're somebody who does Peloton at home, you can continue on and keep your streak going. Or if you wanna try it out for the first time, that's a really awesome thing that you can do here on board. Now, as we head to the far side of the fitness center, I wanted to point out a few more things. So you've got more of the machines here. They do have it set up so you can utilize TRX. Right over in the far corner, I love that they have the foam rollers, though they, they hurt a little bit sometimes when I'm utilizing them. For me, it's a great way to start the day where I stretch my back out, go ahead and stretch the hamstrings, glutes, all of that. So I love that they have those. They've got the kettlebells. They also have the exercise balls and the yoga mat, so you can utilize those throughout your stay. Now there's also personal training sessions that you can utilize here. That is an extra cost. Just tucked in the corner there, Motion Studio B is where they're gonna have the fitness classes. So they do spinning, they do yoga, they do all kinds of different options here. And then also they can do your in-body analysis. So if you wanna do that, where you can partner with one of the fitness trainers to learn more about you and maybe set up a fitness regimen to utilize on board or when you get home, you can do that as well. So now we're just inside the fitness studio. Even in here, you get the incredible views out to the ocean. You see you have the mirrors on both sides with the bars. Hanging from the ceiling, you're gonna have set up for TRX and also for the bungee fitness. So they have all of that equipment up here, the different exercise balls. They also have the kettles down below as well with those power systems. And right here, you're gonna see that you have the boxing gloves. So you can even, they'll even set this up for different boxing classes. The whole idea is to extend what you wanna do at home that maybe you don't have time for, or if you're somebody that exercises every single day, goes to the gym, I aspire to be you, but you can also continue on what you're doing at home here on board. That's all part of their wellness woven in aspect of this cruise. A lot of our customers who love the spa type atmosphere, they'll utilize the fitness center, the spa, maybe get one of the aqua class or the suites so that they can even exercise in the rooms. You can do an extension of that with the personal training as well. Now, if you're someone who enjoys competition while exercising, spinning can be an awesome option. This isn't completely set up for a spin class right now, but you can see they'll spread these out a little bit. And then up on the screen, you have all the competition listed up there as part of the MyZone program. And then the instructor will be right up front. Once again, just a phenomenal way to continue on with all of that wellness woven in concept where you can exercise, you can eat clean, or you could do a combination like I do of whatever you want on board. Now I did wanna point out that on the starboard side of the ship, right through the door here where you've got in between the motion studios, there's a restroom and I appreciate the fact that it is accessible. So if you have accessibility needs, you can utilize that in there without having to head out of the gym. Now before we head on out, I just wanted to point out a couple more features. We've got the towels here for you to utilize throughout your time. I love that they have the disposable headphones for you to use too, and then well, after this really long, very, very arduous and uh, intense workout session, I'm gonna cool off a little bit. You ready, Taylor? Mm. Uh, I'm gonna finish this one. Now we're just inside the retreat lounge. Now this is the spot where retreat guests can utilize throughout their entire stay, whether they wanna come for a continental breakfast in the morning, utilize the services of the retreat host in here, or just find a nice relaxing place to hang out. So over to my left right here, you're gonna find they have a small station where you've got coffees, teas, they've got the Lavazza coffee maker in here. You also have an area tucked around the corner that they're gonna have a continental breakfast in the morning. It's gonna be set up for tea time every single afternoon. And then you also can have some hors d'oeuvres before dinner. As we continue along to the space on the other side, you're gonna find the wine fridges here. They've got water that's infused. You also have different wines 
cool ones, of course, tucked away in the fridge with the champagnes. And then as we continue along, the space really opens up. So tucked in the corner, you're going to find all the different menus for the restaurants if you want to peruse those. And of course, you can utilize as the service of your personal retreat host or the host in here as well to make dining reservations or to basically take care of anything that you can imagine on your cruise. As we continue further into the space, it really opens up with quite a bit of seating. So right here, you've got this beautiful lounger set up. You've got couches, chairs that are set up for two. On the far side, they even have a large table if you want to get together and play cards or a game. I love the idea of meeting new people or, of course, if you're traveling with a group as well. You've got a large sofa here, more seating all the way around, and then you have two beautiful chairs looking directly out at those floor to ceiling views, continuing along with the concept of opening up to the sea. Now on the starboard side, you're gonna have more seating tucked over in the corner, but on that side, you're gonna have an outdoor lounge area as well. So if you wanna take a cocktail, head on out there maybe before dinner, it's a beautiful space for that. You can get those ocean views, and then you can continue right on up the stairs if you wanna check out the retreat sun deck. So now we're headed into Lumine. A major part of the celebrity suite experience is the dining. Now this restaurant, Lumine, is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day if you're staying in a suite. So that's gonna be a sky suite or higher. And then of course, if you're staying in one of the top suites, you also get complimentary access to all the specialty dining restaurants as well. So you can start your day here for breakfast. Once again, a la carte, you can mix and match, but it's more than just a wide menu option. It is very, very upgraded ingredients. So it's on par with the best specialty restaurants in the entire industry. Now, as we continue along into the space, you can see all along the back wall here, you've got the bench seating. They've got tables for two, four, six, or you can put them together for larger groups. And then on the far wall, you have a wall of windows. Continuing along that concept with the edge of getting the sea as the focal point of the experience. So we're still heading into it. You can see it's a quite a large restaurant. I love that so they can accommodate all of the suite guests. Once again, beautiful, beautiful decor. And if you wanna come in for lunch, once again, a la carte and dinner. What I love is they've upped their partnership with the French chef, Daniel Bouloud, who does an incredible job designing some of the items here. And of course, if you've dined in one of his restaurants on land, you know how exclusive it is. So putting those two partnerships together for a phenomenal dining experience here on the edge. As we head into the Ocean View Cafe, I just wanted to point out they put in all of these extra sinks here where you can wash your hands before. Of course, there's bathrooms outside all of the restaurants as well. I'm not going to do the full ABCs as I have my daughter do because, well, it's actually the second time I just washed my hands. But I love that they have that all integrated. Wash your hands, toss it up there, and then head right on in. But what I love more than anything else about this particular restaurant experience is they know the most important part is dessert. It's always the most important part for me as well. So we're going to start off right here at Scoops. So they have complimentary gelato and ice cream that's included. All of the toppings, including my all-time favorite candy in the entire world, Sour Patch Kids. I love it. But more importantly, just behind, soft serve ice cream. I've stopped by here a few hundred times maybe, Milos? I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Of course, you also have your cookies as well, but just a little dessert station to complement the dessert inside. As we head into the heart of the Ocean View Cafe, we'll start off with the bakery. Now, right now is snack time, so we're in between meals. They even do a great job with that. But it's part of that immersive experience. So every morning, my daughter and I have actually come up here. They're laying out all the dough. They're sectioning it off. And right around the corner is where they actually bake all of the breads. I like that they've brought it outside of the kitchen so you can see it and, of course, smell it. As soon as you walk in here, you get that incredible experience of, well, interactive food. So as we continue along, this is always gonna be one of my favorite spots, the other dessert bar. So this is gonna be dessert every single day for lunch and dinner. You can see the huge ovens behind me. Once again, we're between lunch and dinner right now. So in the morning, they're gonna have the bread baking in there and nice and warm before dinner as well. And as we continue along, there's a mix and match of different stations. So in the morning, they're gonna have eggs here. Later on in the day, usually in the evening, they'll have a dessert bar. And then as we head on, they'll have different kinds of pasta dishes and made to order. Now they've really, really mastered the flow of the dining experience. Of course, it's not set up for a meal right now, but you can see they have all the different stations. Some of them are a little redundant, so you can spread people out and really you know, enjoy that piece of it as well. They've got one of my all five favorite things in the whole wide world is the rotisserie and the grilled meats over there. Along the far wall, you're gonna have 
full rotisserie. So the chicken was absolutely delicious. The steaks, all of the things that they put in there. You're gonna have several salad bar options each and every day, and it's gonna mix and match. So today for lunch, they had an incredible Mediterranean spread that was set up here. Breakfast, they had an egg station so you can make omelets as you'd like. They also had an eggs Benedict station, those poached eggs that my dad absolutely loves. But what I've really, really come to love on board Celebrity is all of their different Asian and Indian foods. So right now here for snack time, essentially they've got Asian set up. The far side, they're gonna have Indian, but they've rotated those dishes every single day as well. And then they also have the Latin fav favorites over here. So you're gonna have all kinds of different fajitas. They even have some fantastic nachos as well. Now what we're gonna do is what I always do as soon as we board a ship, I'm gonna head all the way to the back. I always like to dine back there because usually people stop about halfway or midway. But as we do, I wanted to take you into one of the beautiful dining areas. So all throughout this, on the sides, in the back, and even tucked away in the very front, there's a couple dining rooms as well. This is that breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet experience. If you're looking for something extra casual, right now I'm traveling with my family, so for me, that's a huge benefit. I can run up here, grab a little food for my daughter. She heads down to the kids club and then her mom and I get to go out and dine. We absolutely love that. But you've got the high top tables for quite a few people. So maybe if you're dining with a group, you also have the low tops. There are once again, two story windows. So you get to take advantage of those incredible ocean views, but you got the tables for two, four, six, eight, and 10. So you can spread out with your group. But I'm gonna go back to my other favorite station right now. It's time for some pizza. You know, at the very, very back corner of the port side of the Ocean View Cafe, you've got the pizza station. In fact, you can see Homer Simpson's favorite part, the dope. Just kidding, I'm messing around here. But what I love is once again, it's an interactive experience. They're making pizzas. They'll make them to order if you would like, but they're gonna have uh, you know the classics every single day. They're gonna have the cheese pizza, always have phenomenal calzones, and then they're gonna rotate it throughout. But if you want something different, just let them know. Of course, it's gonna take a few minutes. You can see the pizza oven right behind there. In fact, that's mine in just a couple of minutes. But I love, once again, you can see how it's made. It's all made fresh and it's absolutely delicious. So in the very back, you're gonna have seating wrapping all the way around. Right next to the pizza shop, you've got some high top tables here. It takes me right back to my teenage years working at Little Caesars. That was a lot of fun, though now I enjoy consuming a lot more of it right over there. Now I did wanna point out one of the drink stations. So you have complimentary drink options that you can take advantage of. They're throughout the entire ship, quite a few of them up here in the buffet. But you've got the hot water dispenser with all the different teas. Once again, these are all complimentary. You've got the coffee ready for you to go. And then as you continue along, you've got the milk station. Great when traveling with kids, I really appreciate that and then finally they're gonna have a mix and match of different juices so in the morning you might have orange juice apple juice my daughter loves her fruit punch as well uh, but they're gonna move that around throughout the day now up on the top deck you have that pool area as the heart and soul of the outdoor spaces right here is the Grand Plaza it really is the beating heart of this ship You've got three different levels here. We're on three. You can see level four up above and then five up above that. But what I love about this space is just like all the other spaces on board, it transforms throughout the day. So right now we're here during the middle of the day. In the morning, you're gonna find people down here having coffee. They're gonna have entertainment. I'm on the dance floor and the stage right now. I've been blown away by the quality of entertainment. Not just the quantity that you find on every cruise ship, but the quality and the devotion and passion of the entertainers here on board. So once again, right here is the main dance floor. You've got the piano behind me. They'll set up a full band. They'll have a single singer. Sometimes they just have somebody with a guitar. There's also activities that go on throughout the day. It's tiered, so right up above you have more seating. You see you've got it for two, the larger sofas and booth seating. And then you also have some quieter private nooks as well. Now, what's really unique about this particular space is the bar. It's the central focus directly across from me. You have that incredible huge LED lights that transform throughout the day. And in the evening, twice, what happens is you hear music pick up, the lights kind of start going crazy, and the bartenders do an amazing flair bartender exhibition. I was a bartender myself quite a few years ago, and what they do, I'll just simply say, I can't. Now they're true mixologists. They have a huge menu to choose from so you can take advantage of that, especially into the evening. So once again, as it transitions later into the evening, you're gonna find the music right here and it goes very, very late as well. It's a gathering place where you can get together. Now from here up on the next level on deck four, you're gonna have the coffee shop on one side. You have Le Grand Bistro and the casino and the casino bar. Further up, you're gonna have Raw on Five, where I had one of the best seafood experiences that I've ever had. 
in my entire life. And then you have the steakhouse just opposite as well. But each and every one of those spaces has a place to look down. So if you wanna grab a seat on one of the edge, have a little people watching time, or you wanna tuck away for a private time to read and really take in the ship, this is that perfect space. Open to the Grand Plaza, you're gonna find Fine Cut Steakhouse. It rivals the best steakhouses on land, all your favorite prime cuts of meat, the sides that you would expect. There's some fantastic seafood options as well. Now, as soon as you walk in, there's a private room that's surrounded by wine. Of course, if you wanna have that private room experience, you can reserve that. And as we continue on into the space, you can see that it's, the decor is very much in line with a classic steakhouse experience. So you've got tables for two, four, six, and eight. You've got the booth style seating on the far side, but I love that they have this partition in there. So on the far side, you actually look right down into the Grand Plaza. And over here, it's a little bit more of an intimate experience. There's also some outdoor seating, but as you continue along the space, what I love is the feature is once again, the beautiful ocean out to the side. So you've got the floor to ceiling windows in here. They do have the shades they can put down at sunset. And then as we continue on through the space, you can see you've got more seating tucked around in the back. There is quite a few different seating options here and you're gonna love digging into that prime age. Well, for me, it's gotta be the tomahawk, but whatever you choose, you're sure to love it. Now we're just off the atrium at Raw on Five. This is an incredible seafood experience. I've dined here once or twice or three times already on board this cruise because it's what I absolutely love. They have an incredible array of sushi rolls. They have all the different sashimi, the fish dishes that you would expect. They also have really fantastic assortment of land as well. So it's an extensive menu. I had a fantastic lobster roll the other day, of course, starting off with my edamame makes me really, really happy. But what I loved is before we even ordered, the sommelier came over and we paired out our entire meal until of course I reordered even more sushi because that's just simply what I do. Now you can see the space is really beautiful. It does open up out to the atrium as well. And for point of reference, when the magic carpet is down on deck five, it's gonna be positioned just outside the restaurant here. So you have some high top tables over in the corner. You've got the booth seating. Once again, two, four, six, they can put them together for larger groups as well. Same over here. And then as you continue along, you've got that fantastic view out to the ocean with more tables along the window and a larger table right at the entrance. As you'll find on all of the celebrity ships, you're gonna find the Cafe El Bacchio coffee shop experience. And yes, it is an experience. They have all of the different espresso makers that you would expect here. Of course, Taylor loves it. This is his favorite spot. So if you wanna start your day here, they've got a ton of seating options. It's also a perfect gathering point for a midday cup of coffee or tea, or tea time, of course. Or later in the evening, you'll find a lot of people come by here for a nightcap. But what I'm all about is in addition to the coffee, the hot chocolate, you know, adding a little bit of booze to it as you'd like. You're gonna find my favorite spot tucked right over here in the corner. Not only is it absolutely beautiful, but I can tell you from lots and lots of experience, it's delicious as well. You've got cupcakes, tarts, chocolates, cookies, a little bit of everything here. My daughter and I manage to stop by once or twice every single day. Once again, start your day at the coffee shop, end your day at this social experience, you choose. Another immersive and beautiful space here on board is Le Grand Bistro. It's meant to make you feel like you're in Paris and it starts just outside with a sidewalk style cafe, looking down at the Grand Atrium. Perfect place for a cup of coffee, but this is where you're gonna enjoy an incredible lunch. Maybe you want some pate, moulet frites, or even short rib bourguignon. They're gonna have that for you as a specialty lunch experience. They also have an incredible bakery. I love walking by here. You get those amazing smells, all the different brand, bread options. They even have a hand-pressed espresso maker over there, really trying to get that authenticity. Now, as you walk in further, you can imagine yourself sitting in Paris at a bistro. The beautiful decor matches up exactly with that, but they also turn this into another one of their classic experiences. They'll shut the doors off right here in the middle, and they'll turn this into Le Petit Chef. Now, what Le Petit Chef is, is an interactive dining experience. You can't see it from here, but there's projectors all the way around throughout the entire restaurant. Of course, embracing the amazing technology and sound that they have throughout the ship, a smart ship like this. And so what you get is a show on your plate. Of course, it's gonna be interactive with fantastic food coming out from the kitchen as well. 
but you're gonna have several different chefs that come out. They're little cartoon type characters, so it's even fantastic for every member of the family. They're gonna demonstrate it right on your plate. It's gonna be a little bit of a cooking competition. So once again, it's so fun to integrate the concepts of technology, entertainment, and delicious food. So nearly a decade ago, Celebrity aligned with another one of the great brands of the world, Apple. This particular space is the Celebrity Eye Lounge. So you can come in here, maybe you need a little bit of support, they usually do classes, but you can check out all of the different Apple products and learn about how to use your own devices. Another benefit too is if you were going to buy an Apple device or maybe you decide to do it here, you're gonna get those great duty-free pricing because Apple does control their pricing throughout. And so this is one of those ways to get a discount. You can see behind me, they have a wide variety of different retail. You also can get the MacBook Pros, Airs, iPads. So if you decide you wanna upgrade on the trip, you can purchase them right here and you get the same brand guarantees from Apple and Celebrity as well. Now, one of the all-time classic cruise experiences is the photos and the photo gallery. So they're gonna take pictures all throughout the ship. Always your choice, of course, if you want to. Disembarking, getting on the ship, dinner time, different places. You also can have set times to sit with a photographer if you'd like, because there's no better place to embrace and basically create those memories and document them than on board a cruise where you're having a great time. Now here, instead of having that huge wall of photos that they used to where you'd go through and pick them out each and every day, all you have to do is take your card, you tap it right down below, and it's gonna pull up all the photos for your entire cruise. You can get them digitally, you can have them print them, or you can get a package where you get all of those as well. Now, in addition to the photos, they also have retail here as well. Maybe you're looking to upgrade your, your GoPro, or maybe you forgot a memory card, battery. They have all the different accessories for cameras, or you can even purchase a camera as well. Now, what so many of our customers love to do on board is, of course, book their next cruise and get those extra onboard benefits that you can only get by booking right here at the Future Cruise Desk. So you have two options. You can pick the exact cruise that you'd like. You're gonna get that extra bonus onboard credit, or if you prefer, you can also pick an open sailing and then you essentially have 60 days to name it and then you're gonna get all of those fantastic onboard amenities. Now, of course, when you book with us before you get on board the ship, they're gonna transfer that right over to us. So as soon as you get home, we can start providing service to you and do it throughout your entire vacation experience. Welcome to the club. This is the heart and soul of the social environment here on board this beautiful Celebrity Edge. What you have is a two-story nightclub. It's incredibly elegant, all the beautiful modern decor, and it's a multi-use space. So like every other space on board the ship, it's incredibly high-tech. They've got the huge screen up there in front. You've got the bandstand there. So last night they had an incredible ABBA sing-along. They had the band in here for music playing every single night. There's a really large dance floor here. They also utilize this space for trivias. They use it for game shows. In fact, just had deal or no deal a few minutes ago in here. So there's tiered seating, as you can set, see set on up, which is what you love in a nightclub. In fact, when you're in here, you get lost and think you might be in one of the most beautiful New York City nightclubs. You've got the balcony seating up above, once again, tiered up there as well. So the entrance to that is up on deck five. The entrance down below is deck four. Now I wanted to take you over to another continuation of the space. This is also an environment that's used for meetings on board. So if you're hosting a large group, this is something that is fantastic for that. Maybe you're doing a presentation. They had it set up in an educational classroom style function the other day. They were doing some lectures in here and then tucked just around the corner. I love like you would expect in a nightclub, you're gonna have all of this extra seating. So you can kind of be tucked away from everything. If you'd like, you've got the large couches and the bench seating in the distance. You've got more mix and match as you go, and then as you continue along, well, the heart and soul of every club is, of course, the bar. The bartenders have so much fun in here, and of course, they make it fun for you as well. They've got a phenomenal assortment of top shelf drinks. They can make you just about everything. So whether you decide to come in here for a lecture, a game show, a trivia, or rock the night away and dance with the special person in your life, this is the space for all of those things. Now, I know you've probably heard me say this a few times, but there really is nothing like this in the entire industry. We're inside the beautiful Celebrity Theater here in the front part of the ship. It's multiple decks high. You see all of the seating, it's stadium style. It comes up and in the back. And then right now we're up on the second deck. So if you like that uh, mezzanine style experience, you can get that from up here. 
But what's so unique about this theater is how incredibly high tech that it is. So it's an immersive experience once again. The stage comes out and the audience is wrapped all the way around the stage, but what you see behind you is actually screens. So they've got all of these projectors all the way around the entire theater and so they can basically create whatever part of the show they want, the singers, the dancers, of course they have the headliners in here as well, the comedians, they have different singers that come on board. But it's those extravagant over the top shows where people are suspended coming down from the ceiling. And more than that, it's really something new and different every single day and every single time you step on board here in the theater high-tech sound system that's incredible, all the lighting rigs. Taylor can tell you all about the technical aspects of this. But for me, it's really just coming in here and basically disappearing into the show for an hour or more in some cases, or maybe you're just coming for a late night comedy experience as well. We were even here yesterday as they had a lecture that was talking about orcas and the life cycle and all kinds of interesting facts and anecdotes. So when this ships in Europe, they're gonna bring on entertainment in addition to all the shows that they're gonna have, those headliner shows. And well, once again, if you want to have an amazing entertainment experience, make sure you check out the theater here on Board the Edge. How dramatic. Now, Celebrity and Royal Caribbean are from the same family. Royal is very much a family-focused cruise line, and Celebrity is very much family-friendly. My daughter has loved every bit of her experience on board, and what I found is we started cruising with her when she was just a little over six months old, and a cruise is a perfect experience for that because everything you need is at your fingertips. You're always close to the room. But the reason I'm in this particular room is this is a special family designated room area. It's between the restrooms, but it's a changing room. And I know when I was traveling with my daughter when she was six, eight months old, 12 months, you know, up into in infanthood, um, having a space like this was so nice. So they've got the Koala Care uh, changing peg table that will come right down. They've got a separate hand washing station. And of course, what their signature is, is those towels. So once again, beautiful design, but really, really thoughtful as well. So in addition to the Celebrity Edge being a work of art itself, it has one of the most incredible art collections. Now you'll find that all around the ship, but they also have a collaboration with Park West as you're gonna find on all of the different Royal Caribbean Group ships. And what I love is whatever kind of art that you love, you're gonna find it here on board. So if you wanna take advantage of an art auction, you can participate in one. I love that they go above and beyond for all of the different educational experiences. In fact, I've learned a lot about artwork here on board the cruise ships. And I have a lot of customers that do come on board to take advantage of those auction and duty-free prices. So you see some of the best artists in the world now, and it's not just that. So you see the Peter Max is here. He's had some great collaborations with the cruise industry. You also have some fantastic things from Brito, not only the paintings and those three-dimensional multimedia experiences, you see some of the sculpture behind me as well. But as you continue along, what I love that they've done on this particular ship. Now, Park West works with all kinds of different cruise lines. They don't have this everywhere. Is a couple of the most famous artists in the world. So behind me up on the wall, you're gonna find four signed pieces from Salvador Dali. You have some incredible sculpture art down below. But what I wanted to point out was this Park West Museum. One of the most infamous, unique, sophisticated, tortured artists in the history of our world is Pablo Picasso. Now the Edge does sail in Europe. You can add Madrid on as one of the pre-options when you cruise out of Barcelona. And so you too could go to the Reina Sofia, see Guernica, some fantastic pieces from Dali and from Picasso as well. But here they've created a mini museum. So he dealt in all kinds of different medias. So you see the pottery here, of course, they've got the different uh, lithographs and also sketches. But one of the things that I love is they have a very unique linograph from Picasso himself. You see the matador with the bull, but he's such a prolific artist, but you really don't find too much of it for sale these days because people hold on to those kind of things. So being able to educate yourself on an experience, just walk through and enjoy your own art gallery experience, I think it really adds, and kudos to Celebrity for getting it fantastically right. So now I'm just inside the Captain's Club desk and also the Concierge desk. So first, I'll point out the fact that this is kind of one space altogether. They can provide service for both groups of people. 
I am an elite member, and not so much because I've earned it specifically with Celebrity, but what I love is that they have the reciprocity between the two brands. So depending on the level you are with Celebrity, you can hop on board a royal ship and get similar status. And same thing from Royal Caribbean to Celebrity. Now we've been cruising a lot with Celebrity lately, so the points are adding up. Now here at the Captain's Club desk, what you're gonna find is they can answer those questions about the benefits, the discounts, the events, and of course, maybe you have a cruise that you're not seeing in your tier, they can go ahead and work to add that on for you. Now for, for concierge club, what that is, is if you are in a concierge class stateroom, one of the upgrades in addition to the sparkling wine upon embarkation and all of the extra additional benefits that you're gonna get in the room is you can take advantage of the phenomenal concierges like Maria. So she can help you with dining reservations. That's probably the biggest request that they get. Also shore excursion reservations. You can even get a customized shore excursion taken care of. But if you have a question about the ship or your experience, they can take care of that right here in the concierge and loyalty lounge for you. As we head aft on deck five, I wanted to take you through an incredible experience that Celebrity has designed on board. What I love so much about this ship is that they've embraced the best engineers, architects, designers, and artists throughout the world, not just those that are known for naval or cruise ship architecture. And this particular space ties it all together. The idea is to awaken the senses, not just one, but all of your senses. And as you walk through here, you get the incredible sound, feeling like you're in a forest in several different ways. It also gets that incredible visual stimulation with the mirrors on every single side. But as you walk through and we head back to Eden, which is a new and completely different experience, on any cruise ship in the world, you can really get that understanding of changing a mindset to a new and different thing. At the aft of the ship covering three decks and nearly 12,000 square feet of space, you're gonna find Eden. Now there's several different spaces wrapped in one, and as I've explained throughout this tour, it evolves throughout the day. So this area is an entry area. Now in this space itself, they have all kinds of different events, the past passenger events. You can have meetings in here. You can also get married in one of the most over the top experiences in the entire industry. But before we head into the main part of the space, I wanted to take you over to the Eden Cafe. As we head in, you can see the beautifully designed seating throughout, very, very different. Not one repeats itself. You're gonna find that throughout the ship. You've got seating on the far side and over here as well. And then as we head into the cafe, this is gonna be open later in the morning throughout early into the evening. It's a very boutique style cafe. So they're gonna have high quality ingredients. You can get soups, sandwiches, several different items. They even have a carvery set up as well. It also doubles as a coffee shop. So over here, you're gonna find the beverage stations. All of those things, of course, are included. They also have the coffee shop experience over here as well, so you can have all of your favorite espresso drinks. Now, as you would expect, they have seating throughout Eden, but it also extends outside onto the terrace. Now, just outside the Eden Cafe, you're gonna find a dining area. Of course, you can dine in Eden itself. They've got the tables lining the sides here. It also doubles as a lounge space. But one of the reasons I wanted to take you out here was to show a little bit more of the architectural design of Eden. So this is the, the first part of it, and it wraps all the way around the back of the ship. It's multiple levels high, and you can see even the beautiful design, the geometric design that you see in there, opens it up so you can get the fantastic light coming in. The entire purpose of all the design on this ship is truly connecting you to the sea, and by having glass wrapped all the way around the back of the ship, it's exceptional at that. Now we're inside the beautiful space that is Eden. The whole concept behind it is a room that lives and evolves throughout the day. So in the morning, you're gonna come in here, have a nice cup of coffee if you'd like. Throughout the day, they're gonna have different activities and gatherings. And then later on in the evening, it turns into more of a whimsical style nightclub. So you've got the fantastic bar over in the corner where they're gonna make all kinds of drinks on par with the best mixologists on the planet. You've got your dance floor right here in the middle. You can see up above, you've got terrace seating wrapped all the way around. Now with that unique architecture, they've opened up the space so you can see completely out behind you at all times. You really are connected with the seat. You've got the piano over to the side, and then down below here as well, you're gonna find the Eden restaurant. So you can really see the three levels from here. You head right on down the stairs, and what you're gonna find down there is something that's 
a little bit unique in the cruise industry. It's kind of a mix of entertainment, dining, and this, this air of creativity that you seldom see in our industry. We'll take you down there in just a minute, but I also wanna show you the rest of this incredible space. Now, I mentioned earlier that this is a room that lives, and all around this incredible space, you're gonna find live plants. They have that amazing living wall on the far side over there, and then as you continue on up, they have small spaces that are segmented around, very similar to the rooftop garden, where it's meant to be small, intimate spaces surrounded by life. And you don't find that all that often at sea. These plants are not only beautiful, but they're part of the immersive experience. Now, right here, we've just stepped up one tier halfway between the bottom floor and then you can continue on up around you're gonna have more seating up there so many fantastic places not just to use in the evening when you're having a cocktail but my wife loves to come in here and sew because you have the most incredible light with glass wrapped all the way around now speaking of that another fantastic and unique experience is the catwalk that goes all the way around the back of the ship this is part of that innovative design where they've used 3D and virtual reality to change where all of the support systems are. So you've got a big support behind me and then you see the supports all the way around. But what they do is they really open up that space. Now it starts down behind the dance floor. It wraps all the way around. There's some fantastic seating options there as well, always facing out to the ocean. And then as we continue up and around, they have all the chairs looking down. That's usually what they have in the evening. They'll turn them around here shortly so that when we sail away, you can take advantage of those spectacular views. But you saw a little bit of that architecture when we were down and outside, but here you can see the continuation of the dome. Using this geometric design and the white colors, it really, really opens up the space and you get that fantastic light coming in in a way that you generally don't on a cruise ship. Usually, you're gonna have a lot of metal walls and partitions to support the ship, but because of the way things have evolved over the last 10, 15, 20 years in cruise ship design, they've been able to partner with the best in the world to create something unique like this. Now from up here, you can look down and get another view of this incredible space. You've got the bar in the distance, the dance floor, and the piano. You can see the other tier of seating up above, and then right down below me is the heart of the Eden restaurant. That also has incredible views looking out the back of the ship. Now, as a kid, one of my favorite books was The Secret Garden. I love that concept of kind of hiding away in the middle of something incredible and being in a place that's even more beautiful. This is one of those spaces that I absolutely love. There's usually never anybody here. We're on the port side, upper level of Eden. You have these very comfortable seats, and it's where I personally love to tuck away with a book, take advantage of the incredible views, maybe have a nice cup of coffee or tea. Now I've talked a bit about the sensory experience. Once again, you have that incredible living wall and up top, you're gonna get the sight, you're gonna get the sound, you'll also get the touch. And down here in the Eden restaurant, you connect the taste and of course the smell. I love that they have this incredible open kitchen concept. So you get the fantastic smells throughout the day and into the evening wafting up above, of course, from those handcrafted cocktails as well. But when we get down into the space, you can see why this particular restaurant has won so many architectural design awards. So all around the back of the restaurant, you have the continuation down below of the incredible wall of windows with the geometric designs. You've got tables for two, four, six. Of course, you can put them together for larger groups. This also can be in integrated as part of a meeting experience. And down one level below, you once again get that phenomenal contrast there. You've got the open air kitchen, the wine fridge, and then on the far side, you're gonna have a bar dedicated just to Eden. They have so many incredible cocktails that have been designed by some of the best mixologists in the world, and they do a phenomenal job with that. Now, as we continue along through the space, you've got booth seating wrapped all the way around, more there as well. You've got a continuation of the living room, essentially, so the walls are alive with plants. All around you, you're gonna have those plant experiences so you feel like you're in a bit of the jungle. Now, to talk a little bit about the menu, this is really unique. Each and every dish is handcrafted with some of the finest ingredients from land and sea. Whether you wanna try sea urchin for the first time or dig into the incredible lobster or steak experience, you can have all of those here, but they're created in a different way to integrate you once again with where you are. The incredible design, but always looking outward to the sea in the distance. Now, once again, Celebrity has gone out of their way to make this an inclusive experience. There's a lift tucked away in the corner that connects all three levels of Eden. So if you have accessibility needs, you can access all of these incredible spaces and awaken your senses as well. 
In addition to the stunning bar itself, it's visually incredible. They also have these unique experiences where you might even have a cocktail delivered in a little treasure box. I already drank mine. Now, Celebrity has a wide variety of accommodation options and different experiences that you can choose even before you get on board the ship. And one of those is Aqua Class. The first time I had Aqua Class was on the Celebrity Millennium quite a few years ago. And to be honest with you, I didn't really understand what it was all about until I experienced it myself. Now, one of the biggest benefits of Aqua Class is, of course, Blue Restaurant. This is open just to those in that class of staterooms for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, you can take advantage of all the other dining options on board as well. But what this is about is taking a hybrid kind of spa experience and taking it to the next level. But what I love about it is you can get all of your favorite options that you're gonna find in the other restaurants, the ones that you love. If you're afraid you might not get that steak, trust me, they do it exceptionally here. But what you get is an upgraded experience from start to finish. As we walk through the space, what it is about is really elevating your experience. So Aqua Class sits somewhere between, you know, the balconies, the concierge, and of course the suites. Now suites are gonna dine in Lumine, but you get this incredible elevated experience I mentioned for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you want that a la carte re restaurant experience where you're sitting down and really having a wider variety of choices, you do have that wellness woven in concept in here as well, meaning that you can have a healthier option each and every day, but you can also take advantage of just an upgraded dining experience throughout your entire cruise. Now in the middle of deck five, you're gonna find two phenomenal shopping experiences. These are high end, of course, you can take advantage of the duty free prices if you'd like, but one of the all time partnerships in the cruise industry throughout is Bulgari. So you see Celebrity has partnered, they've got a wide assortment of different kinds of watches and all of the jewelry. And as we continue on to the other side, you're gonna find Cartier. But what I like about these two particular shops is they're kind of tucked away and it's more of that personal shopping experience. If you do wanna purchase some of the very high end retail, you can have that one on one experience, of course, try all of these things on. Or if you wanna check it up and save for next time, you can do that as well. Now into the front of deck five, set just between the club and the theater, you're gonna find three more retail shops. On the far side, you'll find Spirited, so you can take advantage of all of those duty-free prices. I find that a lot of the price of liquor is actually in the duty, so you can find some phenomenal pricing. But keep in mind, they're gonna give those to you the last night of the cruise so that you can take them home. Now in the middle here, you have To The Edge, which is that classic cruise ship shop. They're gonna have different kinds of sundries and things that you may have left at home. You also have logo wear and a lot of different options for swimwear. So maybe you forgot something or you just wanna to add to your collection. You can do that right here. And then finally, on the far side, you're gonna find Attraction, which is the aptly named perfume shop. So if you're looking for some scents, once again, at a duty-free price, you can head right on over there. Now, just in front of Eden, you're gonna find the Tiffany & Company store. And of course, Celebrity once again has partnered with the best in the business. They have a beautiful jewelry set up here. Maybe you wanna take advantage of those duty-free options. You can see all of the different options in here are fantastic. Of course, the beautiful Tiffany blue. And uh, well, I found my wife in here yesterday and it might be a little expensive for me later on, but if she's happy, we're all happy. Now, if you're somebody who loves to window shop or you wanna dig into that duty-free shopping experience, there's a wide variety of retail here on board. So in there, you've got a large watch area. In fact, I've gotta keep Taylor out of there. That's one of his favorite things to check out, of course. And then throughout the middle, we're now at the gem. So you see all the beautiful jewelry wrapped around. You have jewelry from different designers all around the world kind of that, that concept of having a little bit of something for everyone. And then as we head on down just a little bit further is where you might find uh, my wife in the celebrity shops here. You've got all of your different handbags from Coach, Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs, and of course, all of those fantastic things. You can check them out, you can buy them. It's whatever you like to do on board. Now, if you enjoy a casino experience, Celebrity once again has delivered on one of the best. Now, don't forget the cashiers tuck just around the corner there. That's the most important part of the entire ship. Now you're gonna have slot machines all the way along the back wall and wrapped completely around. It's a little bit of a unique design. The aft elevator bank is actually just outside the door. So you can go one way and head out into the retail, back to the restaurants or forward to some of the more entertainment options. But right here on the port side of the ship is where you're gonna find the casino. 
all the way down the middle, you're gonna find the table games. So I see blackjack, several different levels throughout. You're gonna have three card poker over on the side as well, one of my all time favorites. And then right here in the middle, you're gonna find the roulette table. So if you wanna take your chances on red or black, this is the spot for that. Now continuing along, you're gonna have another roulette table on the far side, more blackjack, once again, all different levels, depending on how you wanna do it. And then my all time favorite, of course, the craps table right in the middle. In fact, I learned how to play craps on Celebrity. Of course, I was going $5 at a time when I was 21 years old and had the longest roll of my entire life. But continuing along, right along in the back, once again, more three card poker, more blackjack, some different mix and match games that they do throughout your stay. You can see more of the slots on the far side. And then one of the things that I really like is that they've continued on that casino bar tradition, but they've separated it. They do have casino games built into the bar itself, but it's also a great gathering space throughout your cruise. Now, before we head out of the casino, I wanted to point out one of my favorite things that they've left in. You've got a Texas Hold'em table where it's dealt live by a dealer. So many other of the cruise lines have gone to the machines, which I really, really don't like. I love the social experience and interaction, and having a game on board is an absolute blast. Now, dining has always been the heart and soul of the celebrity experience. And on board this ship, in addition to all of the phenomenal specialty restaurant options, you also have four complimentary restaurants. So these are included with your cruise fare. And whether you choose early dining, which is a set time, late dining is a set time, or celebrity select, you can utilize these restaurants here on board. Now, every single day, they're gonna have the classics. So these are the things that you love, a steak dish, chicken, salmon, of course, my all-time favorite, the shrimp cocktail. So those are gonna be on every single menu, every single day for dinner. In addition to that, they're gonna have a rotating menu, so that's gonna change every single night that you're on board the cruise. And then each of the four specialty restaurants are gonna have dishes unique to those restaurants. So as you move around throughout your cruise, especially if it's a longer one, you get to try new and different things every day. Now on sea days and other times, you're gonna have breakfast and lunch in here as well. And this complements the buffet experience up in the Ocean View Cafe, because as I always say, luxury is choice. If you have the choice to go where you want, when you want, and you can do that exactly the way you like here on the Celebrity Edge, you're gonna have a phenomenal cruise experience. One of my favorite places that this particular ship visits is Italy. This is a tribute to Tuscany. It's the Tuscan restaurant, part of the rotational dining experience. So you can have all of those dishes that change each and every day, or you can take advantage of a, an Italian menu. Grilled tuna puttanesca, an amazing carbonara dish, or you can have the short rib parpadel. So those are things that, once again, as you rotate around, you can try one each and every single night, or you can mix and match however you'd like, especially if you're on for a longer cruise. Now we're headed into Normandy Restaurant. This is another one of the four options that you can choose for the main complimentary dining experience. Now it's a bit reminiscent of Murano on some of the other celebrity ships, including a nod specifically to the Celebrity Summit. But in addition to that, the Normandy is one of the most famous ships of the olden days. But what you're gonna find in here is a mix of the classic dining. You always get that here on board. And they also have a few French restaurant dishes. So you're gonna have a nod to pork or to beef tenderloin. You also have a fantastic lavender roasted halibut. And they even have a slow roasted pork rack as well. But you're gonna take all of the favorites. I always start with a shrimp cocktail myself. You're gonna add in the rotational pieces and then you have those extra dishes to choose from. This beautiful space is Cypress Restaurant. So it's gonna be utilized on different days. Once again, sometimes breakfast and lunch, but always open for dinner. It's part of that rotational dining. So in addition to the menu that's gonna change every single day, you can have a lamb shank tagine. They also have a fantastic Greek style sea bass or one of my all time favorites, Greek souvlaki. As you look around, you can see the beautiful decor in here. Once again, they've got olive oil and different uh, Greek and Mediterranean delicacies on the wall. And then you've got the same booth style seating, much larger tables for a larger group or family. And then two, four or six, you just let them know. Once again, you can utilize this for set dining or for the celebrity select. As we head into the Cosmopolitan restaurant, I wanted to point out not only is wine a beautiful art fixture like it is up above, but it's a huge part of the celebrity dining experience. 
You've got the amazing wine wall in here wrapped all the way around. They have a massive wine cellar on board and some of the best sommeliers in the business. Now the space in here itself is meant to be like a New York cosmopolitan restaurant. So the dishes that you're gonna find in here have that type of theme with it. Those are gonna stick around the entire week that you're on board, but everything else is gonna mix and match each and every single day. You've got the large tables here if you have a family for eight or 10. You've also got the tables for two, four, or six as well. So you just let them know. And of course, if you have the select, you can come at any specific time. Or if you're gonna have that set dining experience, you can also take advantage of that at the early or late seating. Now, as a small way to showcase a bit of the architecture and engineering of this ship, there's this fantastic, well, I'd say it's a piece of art as well, but they've left a part of the original ship exposed so that you can step right through in here and check out this beautiful piece of steel that, well, is keeping us afloat. So happy for that. Taylor, turn the lights down. I think you melted the painting. Now, nah, this is just one of the exquisite art pieces here on board, all different and unique. So you get that education along with well, opening up your mind a little bit to different kinds of art. I love the different textures with all the different medias. You're gonna find them on the wall, well, in some cases on the floor and all throughout this beautiful ship. Now this space is the dedicated kids club on board, which is perfect for the kids and for the parents. My daughter's five years old and she has had the most incredible time here, not just because of the incredible spaces that we're gonna show you, but also because of the counselors, the camp counselors. It's Camp at Sea. It's a relatively new concept with celebrity. And what they've done is they've taken the best of what a kids club is about, having fun, arts and crafts, and they've also added some phenomenal STEM activities as well. But right here is the check-in. You're gonna to need to come down here the very first day you're on board the ship. You're gonna take your card, set it up. You also can authorize other adults to drop off and pick up the kiddos as well. My mom and dad are here on board. Some of our friends are as well. So we added them all for authorization. So that way, if anybody needs to come down and pick her up, maybe we're getting ready for a shore excursion or going to a meal, they can all have access to that. But this is a very secure environment. So if you're not set up that way, they're not gonna be able to let you take or drop off the kid. So as we walk through here, this is the dedicated space for three to five-year-olds. So there's a little bit of a mix match in here right now. You see they have the foosball table tucked in the corner. But what I love is they have a large flat panel TV. You can see that this is set up a bit for movie time. They also have the Xbox experience, the little cubbies for the kids' shoes. And as we walk in further, you're gonna have one of my daughter's favorites when she was a three-year-old on board a cruise ship. You've got that kitchen right there. You have a slide, which what kid doesn't love a slide and kind of a secret area to tuck away in. And then continuing around, you can see you have more of a craft area, but they also even have a hot water sanitizing dishwasher. So they're gonna wash all of the toys. My daughter first started cruising when she was just a little bit over six months old. And I love that they do that. Now, as we continue along, we're gonna head over to the other part of the space. So it is a segmented kids club environment. So three to five here with all of the appropriate activities, including the educational piece. And that to me is really where they've taken it to the next level. So I'm an educator. I was a middle school teacher for 10 years. My wife is a teacher. I've actually taught every single level. And what I know is that kids are, that are happy, that are engaged, that are learning, they're getting all of those experiences together. It's really what we all look for. So in here, you've got another large flat panel TV with speakers, the Xbox Connect, so you can do movie time. And on this far wall right here, tucked away, you're gonna have a video game experience. So if the kids love to game, they can do that right here. Now, as we head over to the older kids, so this is going to be the 10 to 12 year olds, you see that this wall does pull shut. So sometimes they open it up depending on and the amount of kids that they have on board. Of course, this ship does do some longer cruises where you may not have that many kiddos, but they have the ability to structure it that way. As we head into the 10 to 12 year old area, I wanted you guys to meet Dash. So Dash is a smart robot. They've really embraced the STEM experience, right? Science, technology, engineering, and math. So the kids are constantly learning. Every kids club is about fun. And of course, the quality of the counselors makes all the difference in the world. But by taking the fun, the education, where it is that you are in the world and putting it all together, I think that they have a fantastic kids club. And I know your kid's gonna love it as much as mine does. 
Down on deck two, you'll find the basement. Now this is the teen club, 13 to 17 years old. And the idea of the decor and really the setup is it as your best friend's basement. So you've got a large dance floor here with a huge flat panel TV, a ton of high tech in this area as well. Got the ping pong table, seating all the way around, more in the corner, a ton of the bean bags. I love that, teens do love that. I was a middle school teacher. I definitely know I've uh, chaperoned a few dances myself. You've got a craft corner over there. And then as you continue along, I love all the guitars and the art on the wall. And then over here, you're gonna find the gaming center. So they have that relationship with Xbox. So you've got one, two, three booths where you can sit inside there, play games. You've got a couple more stations right here. But just like the rest of the kids club, they've gone out of their way to integrate education. They have a coding session here later this afternoon. They have all kinds of different STEM activities. If that's something that the kids wanna do, they of course have arts, crafts, games, dance night, just about anything that you could imagine you would love as a teenager. If the teens are happy, the kids are happy, the adults are happy, every bit of the cruise experience is gonna be phenomenal. On deck three, set just behind the aft elevator bank and the Grand Plaza, you're gonna find the guest relations desk. So this is where you're gonna come for anything that you need assistance with from the purser, usually things to do with money, maybe you have questions about the room, but they're here to take excellent care of you throughout your cruise. Now directly opposite, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. So I love that they've once again made it very, very digital. So you have all of the different kiosks set up. You can use your key, you can search the different excursions, you can even book them. They'll be out in here throughout designated times throughout the day so they can answer all of your questions about the shore excursions. And they also have a desk specifically for the private journey. So this is that private journeys concierge. Once again, this is more like the lobby area of the ship. Now, something that you're gonna find on every cruise ship is a picture of the godmother, but the godmother of this ship is extraordinary in so many ways. It's Malala, you see her right behind me, that beautiful picture. She's the Pakistani student, activist, messenger of peace, who I absolutely adore. I think she's incredible for so many reasons. I'm the father of a daughter. What she survived, that's incredible in and of itself. But more than that, the message that she's taken with her, the attitude, the way that she's approached life is truly, truly extraordinary. So what I love so much about what Celebrity's done is right now our captain on board is Captain Kate. I've loved every bit of traveling with her from her announcements to just her positive spirit and everything that she represents. But tying that all together, to have a godmother who was the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner ever and to really embrace what I think is so great about this world, love, peace, and understanding of everyone else. Thank you so much, Celebrity, for doing that, and uh, cheers to many more years on board this incredible ship. Now, when Celebrity designed this incredible ship, they took every part of the passenger experience into mind, including embarkation and disembarkation, and specifically when you're tendering. But what I wanted to point out today is how we get on and off the ship and why it's such a greatly amplified and improved way of doing it. So the Magic Carpet's all the way up top right now, it's functioning as a bar, but it also will be functioning later on when we're tendering, all the way at the bottom as a way to get on and off the ship. They've even air conditioned and made the lifeboat so much more comfortable because they visit all kinds of exotic ports around the world, and some of them don't have a dock that's quite big enough for a ship this size. So I'm gonna take you through the entire process here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So now we're docked in port right now, but it's essentially gonna be the same experience if you're tendering. You'll go through this on land side. They'll take you over in those extra comfortable lifeboats. Once again, they even improved the seat quality, added air conditioning. In that case, the magic carpet would be right down here flush with the water. So let's head on inside and I'll show you the experience. So you're gonna show your card to the security officer. Thank you so much, we appreciate that. We've got tailors as well too here. We're gonna show them the card so they know we can head on board, but that's not the end of the process. We're gonna head right on up this ramp. Now you can see just behind me down there, that's where the magic carpet would be, right on the water level. But as soon as we get inside, you're gonna go through a process that's very familiar to you. So the first thing you do is check in. So all I have to do is scan that. That's me, I promise. <laughs> and there's Taylor right there. They've got a picture of us so they can see exactly who we are. You upload that in the app when you check in or of course you can do it at port as well. Now as we continue along, this to me is what's dramatically changed the entire experience. It's air conditioned in here. There's a ton of space spread out. On most cruise ships that I've been on, there might be one metal detector that's off to the side. They even have more than this to expand. We have less people on board the ship right now, so that's why that's happening that way. So we'll continue on in. Once again, beautiful experience. 
When you're tendering, you'll head right on out there, take the steps right down to once again, a much more accessible experience as well. They do have a lift that goes all the way down to the magic carpet. So once again, start to finish, it's vastly improved. Now you see here, they've got two, three metal detectors set up. You're gonna go right through. So we'll put our stuff through here in just a minute. You'll head on in, you can head right up the stairway, start your cruise experience back or right on over to the elevators. Now, I know you've enjoyed this incredible space, but when you're ready to enjoy it in person, reach out to Har Travel. We are your luxury cruise experts. As you can see, we know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Royal Caribbean Group, and we know that we can craft the vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value.